Welcome to Zen Master Wisdom. Today, we will share about the finding stillness in chaos. Let's start. In a bustling city nestled between towering skyscrapers and bustling streets, there lived a renowned Zen master named Ryujin. People from far and wide sought his wisdom, for he possessed an uncanny ability to find stillness amidst the chaos of urban life. One sweltering summer day, a young and ambitious journalist named Maya heard of Ryujin's reputation. She had been struggling with the relentless chaos of her career, constantly chasing deadlines and feeling overwhelmed by the demands of the modern world. Yearning for inner peace, Maya embarked on a journey to meet the legendary Zen master. Upon arriving at Ryujin's humble temple tucked away in a quiet corner of the city, Maya was greeted by the soft sound of wind chimes and the gentle rustling of leaves. The contrast between the serenity of the temple and the surrounding chaos of the city was striking. Ryujin welcomed Maya with a warm smile and invited her to sit in his tranquil garden. They sat in silence for a while, as the Zen master poured tea into small porcelain cups. The aroma of the tea filled the air, and the distant sounds of sirens and car horns seemed to fade into the background. After sipping their tea, Maya finally broke the silence. Master Ryujin, she began, I've come seeking guidance. My life feels like a whirlwind of deadlines, stress, and constant noise. How can I find stillness within this chaos? Ryujin looked at her with compassionate eyes and replied, Maya, imagine the chaos of the city as the raging waters of a turbulent river. To find stillness, one must first learn to navigate the currents. Intrigued, Maya listened intently as Ryujin continued, close your eyes and take a deep breath. Feel the chaos around you, the sounds, the rush of life. Now, let it flow through you like the water of the river. Do not resist it, let it come and go. Maya closed her eyes as instructed and took a deep breath. She focused on the cacophony of the city, allowing it to wash over her like a tidal wave. Slowly, she began to sense a shift within herself. The chaos, once overwhelming, started to lose its grip on her. Now, Ryujin said softly, imagine a stone in the middle of the river. The water flows around it effortlessly, never disturbing its inner peace. Be like that stone, Maya. Let the chaos flow around you while you remain still within. With each passing moment, Maya felt a growing sense of calmness. The chaos of the city became like the rushing river, and she, the unyielding stone. The noise and commotion no longer felt like an assault on her senses, instead, they became a part of the rhythm of life. Days turned into weeks as Maya continued to visit Ryujin's temple, deepening her practice. She learned to find stillness in the midst of her hectic life. She discovered that by embracing the chaos rather than resisting it, she could maintain inner peace even in the most challenging moments. One day, as Maya sat in the temple garden, she asked Ryujin, Master, how can I share this wisdom with others who are trapped in the chaos of modern life? Ryujin smiled and handed her a small bamboo flute. Teach them to listen, Maya, he said. Like this flute, they must learn to create music amidst the chaos. Each note they play will be a reminder of the stillness within. Maya took the flute and began to play a simple, haunting melody. The notes seemed to dance with the wind, weaving a harmonious tapestry with the sounds of the city in the background. Passers-by stopped to listen, captivated by the unexpected beauty. 
Word spread quickly about Maya's unique approach to finding stillness in chaos. Soon, she began holding workshops and sharing her wisdom with others. People from all walks of life, from harried office workers to frazzled parents, came to learn her teachings. As Maya's influence grew, so did the sense of inner peace in the city. The once stressful atmosphere began to shift, as more and more people learned to embrace the chaos around them and find their own inner stillness. Years passed, and Maya continued to teach and inspire. She became a symbol of hope and tranquility in a world that often seemed overwhelming. The city, once known for its relentless chaos, became a place where people discovered the beauty of balance and the power of inner peace. And so, the story of Maya and Master Ryujin became a timeless tale of finding stillness in the midst of chaos, a reminder that even in the busiest of lives, the serenity of the soul could always be found if one knew where to look.